Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the brand new Ford Explorer. Ford's new electric car that's very soon coming to market. It's just around the corner and what's interesting about this car is this is actually a joint venture between Ford and Volkswagen Group because believe it or not, this car is built on the MEB platform. The same platform that underpins the Volkswagen ID3, ID4, ID5 and ID7, Audi Q4 e-tron, and Skoda and Nyack. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of this car on the exterior and then on the interior. So if you saw my Tesla Model 3 video, this is quite interesting because the Tesla Model 3 is just 50 meters over there and this Ford Explorer is much less crowded. People aren't that interested in this car though. I mean, it's not brand new. Ford showed this a while ago, so maybe you know there isn't too much interest around this car, but I have to say, I think this is one of the cars that's gonna get a lot of people into electric cars, you know, a small, cheaper Ford with an electric badge that is built on a very good electric platform. I'm just curious about, you know, the software solution, if this has, you know, Ford's sync infotainment system, which it, it of course will have. We'll hop into the interior a little bit later, but I do like the overall shape and size of this car. And also, you know, the front wheels, these are 21 inch wheels. And I think the design is, is, is pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this new Ford Explorer, this electric car. And again, Ford with their nameplates, pretty smart calling this the Ford Explorer. But why not like the E-Explorer or Explorer Mach-E? I mean, it's a little bit confusing that they haven't, you know, quite decided what they want to do with their branding. Because over there they had the Ford 1F50 Lightning. Lightning means electric. Probably gonna show you that in another video. But overall, the exterior design of this, yeah, Ford Explorer, pretty nice. Really nice proportions. A very, very nice size. So let's see if we can close the rear tailgate here and just show you guys what the rear looks like. That looks like a Ford button. So it looks like the, this, you know, only uses the platform, but the switch gear, exterior bits and stuff like that is probably gonna be Ford and not Volkswagen because that button's not a Volkswagen button. So rear design, maybe the weakest angle of this car. Cool with, you know, the Explorer badging there. Explorer being iconic with the first generation coming out in like 1989, 1990. That square SUV that really kicked off, you know, the SUV craze and Ford using that same nameplate to, well, maybe kick off more of an electric car craze. Yeah, that is pretty, pretty smart. I, I'm not opposed to that. So we have the rear, uh, we have the charging port here on the rear right side. And again, this does not look like it's Volkswagen. This looks like it's Ford. And you know, some things Ford do really well and this feels really high quality. This does actually feel pretty, pretty nice. So let's see, we can hop around here and you know, just give you guys an, a view of the exterior, what this looks like. And then hop in and show you guys the interior. So again, for these interior shots, because it's so crowded and I'm using my iPhone, so I hope you know the video quality is good, but this has a wide angle lens, so it's easy to show you when there are other people around here. So what I have to say is that the rear leg room, pretty impressive, the rear headroom also. As I said, I just did a video on the Tesla Model 3, the new version. If you haven't seen that, hop in to the link down below and check that video out. I was sitting in the back with a guy who was 206, centimeters tall two meters and six and he was like sitting like this he did have you know pretty decent um pretty decent leg room uh here leg room is really really nice i'm five foot eight, ten or 178 centimeters and i have plenty of headroom plenty of knee room and this is probably also going to work look at that headroom there this is going to work if you're also you know way above six foot no problem at all and i have to say you know these seats pretty nice i'm a fan of the quilted um stitching here but i have to say that everything just feels you know ford this does feel very cheap and low rent especially hopping out of that tesla model 3 and i have to commend tesla here for making you know car interiors that do feel really nice which had you know soft touch plastics high quality materials on the whole door this whole door is just hard touch yeah the whole thing these look like the same seats we get in the id4 id3 and also audi q4 e-tron i you know recognize this this seat shape also this console here that is new that is not something we've seen before in an meb platform car so let's hop into the front seat and i'll show you guys the front cabin so inside the front cabin of the new ford explorer the electric ford explorer but they're just calling it the ford explorer kind of confusing with that naming convention so it's pretty hot here in munich now i'm sweating 
and the door is closed and no AC running in this car. So we're gonna try to keep it short to a few minutes. But I have to say this interior, this is a very different experience than other MEB platform cars. This is pretty cool to see that this is more different than I was expecting. This is more different than, you know, the, the Skoda and the Audi and the, the Volkswagen version of these cars are. And they are pretty, pretty different. So I do recognize this front screen here that does look similar. And I also think the button layout is, is the same with the same capacitive touch crap buttons. And you also have the same window cluster here. So there is shared switch gear. And also think this panel here also for the infotainment system and sound is also carried over from Volkswagen. Do we have a working infotainment system? No, we don't, but we do have actually a very big screen. And then we have a sound bar, a sound system on top here. And again, okay, materials are better in the front cabin. I just have to open up the car, it's, it's so warm. But materials are better in the front cabin with, you know, soft touch plastics here and a rubberized finish here. Um, this is probably a prototype. This does not feel especially high quality. But this is cool, this like carbon weave uh, looking material. I, I can't, you know, think, I don't think this is real carbon fiber, but it does look really, really cool. So hopping from that to Tesla, this does look and feel very cheap, this interior. And also you have the, you know, the Ford stocks here, the Ford switch gear. So I think I would prefer, no, this is not, sorry, sorry. This is Volkswagen switch gear here, just with Ford plastics maybe, I don't know. So you have the, you know, the, the, the panel here also, Volkswagen. So pretty much Volkswagen. Yeah, and also the, the, the roof here, you know, the lights and all the buttons there. Pretty much, yeah, what you get in Ford. So these seats feel pretty nice, though it are, they are lacking, you know, an extended cushion here. It looks like they should have an extended cushion, but I do like, you know, this material Ford are using. And also this, you know, this material here, uh, this, this weaven or this uh, quilted um, uh, pattern overall, Nice interior, but you can see over there already, the plastics are scratched up. Yeah. So there we go, guys. A little bit less crowded tour of the new Ford Explorer, the electric version, but still a lot of people here at the Interna International Auto Show down here in Munich in Germany. So tell me what you think about this new Ford Explorer in the comment section down below. Is this the car you guys are looking for? Is this the car you ex are excited about? I haven't been too excited about it, but now seeing it in person, I really do like the exterior and if it drives anything like any Volkswagen MBB platform car, it's going to drive pretty well because all of them are pretty nice to drive. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys today and goodbye.